Close your eyes and watch your breath. Don't send your thoughts out anywhere else. Try to keep them with the body right here, right now. Think of the breath as a whole body process. When you breathe in, every cell, every nerve in the body is nourished by the breath. Just hold that picture in mind. This way the mind and the body are brought into alignment. The body is right here and the mind is right here as well. They're in harmony together. This is a principle that's important not only inside but also outside. Today is Yom's ordination, but as you can see, it's not just Yom's day. It's a day for the whole community. We're all involved in this. A community of monks have to have, to have a full community of monks in order to sect, accept Yom into the Sangha, and a full community of lay people to support him. So we're all here to show our support, show our acceptance. And it all goes with harmony, then everything goes well. As the Buddha once said, harmony is the happiness and the strength of a community. So as we all work together, pitching in here, pitching in there, helping here, helping there, for a common purpose, the community can live together with a sense of well-being, sense of wanting the community to last. If, when the community is not harmonious, again, that's when people find community life really hard. So think of this principle both inside and out. As you look inside, you want your mind and your body to be together. Otherwise, the, the mind is out wandering around. It's like an orphan wandering around, exposed to the elements. And the house where the orphan should be staying is not being looked after either. Animals can come in, dry rot can come in, pipes can burst, fires can start, because there's nobody there to look after it. The same way when the mind isn't with the body. The mind is out wandering around in its thoughts, sometimes good, sometimes bad, but really unprotected. And the house isn't getting any protection either. In other words, the body isn't getting protection. When you're here with the breath, you can notice there's tension here, there's something not quite right there. You can breathe right through the tension. You can spread good breath energy around. This is really good for the health of the body. Whenever there's tension or tightness, you can allow it to relax, bring everything into alignment. They're both sides benefit. So when there's harmony, everybody benefits. So always keep that principle in mind. A lot of times when you may want to do one thing, but the good of the community is something else. You have to say, okay, I'm here dependent on the community, and so it's important that I contribute my part. And the community will look after you. It's not that you have to sacrifice everything for their sake, and we're all here for a, a goodness and a happiness that doesn't harm anybody, doesn't harm you, doesn't harm the people around you. That's how we can live in happiness together. The true happiness comes from within. And if we can develop true happiness within, then it's bound to show its results outside. So even though the prime emphasis here is on what's going on inside the mind, remind yourself that it, it gets reflected outside as well. And there are lessons from outside that you can learn to bring inside. When everything is in harmony like this, everything can grow and develop in the Buddha's teachings to the aim for which the Buddha's teachings aim. <laughs>